Stepping right up, please. One more step. Thank you. I've been working for SEPTA for two years and five months. From our trolley through the window on the left, we see the Market Frankfurt line like a Siamese twin fusing into our tunnel. We're swallowed up by the 1955 tunnel with walls that are corrugated like a trachea. There are two kinds of trolley talk that I do. One is inside the tunnel and one is on the street. The one that is inside the tunnel is more of a narrative. Um, it's kind of a demystifying language about what the tunnel is really doing to us when we're inside, what, what is happening. Like, now we are underneath 36th Street, um, turning east to Center City, around a curve that some people say makes our trolley sound like a whale song, okay? <laughs> That's like a narrative, straightforward, zero controversy, literally is what is happening in that moment inside the tunnel. And I like to think of it as um, something that demystifies, something that is sort of mystical because the tunnel is a dark space, you know, the tunnel is an empty space. What is a tunnel? It's an empty space, right? It's a mystical, mysterious kind of thing. Rising like a bubble, then like a teacher fixing an unfair exam. We curve. I have a kind of a love affair with the tunnel, actually. I, my Halloween costume, I went as the tunnel. Not as Mr. Tunnel superhero, I went the tunnel. What did I dress in? I got a black invisible man suit. I had a yellow and white, yellow and red flashing lights. And I had two by four strapped onto my feet, covered in aluminum foil <laughs> for the tracks. <laughs> That's all, a black empty space. See, that, that's what the tunnel is. 237 in Spruce, next stop. Here in Southwest Philly at the 40th Street portal, we reach the end of the tunnel like a snowflake hitting the ground. And like when there's specific stops that are danger stops, there are some, you know, where people have to get off into a moving lane of traffic. I'll be like, you know, here we come to uh, 47, uh, where we tried to be extra careful of the traffic. Then 47, where we tried to be extra careful of the traffic. It's, it's nerve wracking to see someone step right off without looking when there could be cars passing on the right illegally. If my stop is getting closer. I'm asking myself, am I near a door? A trolley nap is a great thing, but we hope no one misses their stop on this ride like a sleeping shrimp washed away by the tide. <laughs> People get it and they like it and they laugh and it keeps them awake for another 30 seconds until the next joke comes along. <laughs> you know, then I'll say something like, getting closer. Getting closer to the crib. <laughs> and people laugh again. You know, just keep them laughing home, laughing all the way home so they don't sleep. Because it's a bummer to sleep through stop. I, really I, th I mean, I think going around in circles is really not so bad. You can learn a lot from going around in circles. And I do. <laughs> and that's basically what we do here is go around in circles.